Ruan Sims is rugby league superwoman. Cronulla Karing Bar Shark, dual international, ambassador for the NRL and beloved big sister to three of its stars, all born in beautiful Gerringong. Add her career in fire and rescue and the Rowan Sims story is truly remarkable. One thing about football is that it really does reveal your character more so than a lot of other sports because of the physicality. It is a tough physical sport but I love it. Rowan Sims with an absolute bell ring. She hits pretty hard. I wouldn't mind being able to defend like her sometimes. She's tough as nails on the field, but uh, you know, to me she'll always be the, the elder sister that used to help me learn how to ride a bike in the backyard or teach me to put my clothes on or tie my shoes up. Ruan is a great story. She's a cracking story, Sharon. You're normally very good at this, but you have missed one giant nugget. Our Ruan achieves gum boot and glory. Years ago, Sharon, Ruan Sims tossed a gum boot at the Jeringong Fair to win the title and break the record. Look, tomorrow, I'm going to go and talk to the family. You can go and look for gumboot gold. Great. I will. She's a giver, isn't she? Always has been. Never been any different. She's got so much on her plate, I don't know where she finds the time to sleep. But that's exactly how she is. Mm. She mm. just has this genuineness. The difference that she makes to the younger, younger girls coming through is, is it now becomes tangible because they see Ruan doing it and they think, well, I can do it as well. Whenever we go out together, you see the way that people respond to her. She is so authentic and genuine and humble, and yet she's achieved so much. One, two, three, yes! Yes, this is, yep. Are you the butcher of Jeringong? Did you lose to Rowan Sims in a gum booting competition? Are you looking for a chance at redemption? And I'll get half a kilo of your curried sausages. You like teams, don't you? Yes. I think I'm more of a team-oriented person than an individual. Uh, I know that when I get to work, those people have got my back, regardless of what happens, regardless of whatever it is that we're going into. I know that they're going to look after me. You've seen her play on the rugby league field. She leads by example, very brave and very confident. And she brings that to Fire and Rescue New South Wales. It's like having your dad permanently on stage <laughs> some of the some of the stuff she comes up with. It's the worst. Well, everyone loves dad jokes. What is it that you're most proud of in your career? There's a lot of things I'm very proud of, but I think the thing I would be most proud of... Ruan! Ready to relive the greatest moment of your life? <laughs> the butcher is. Look at him. He's pumped. He's OK. He's fine. Let's go! Come on! Go! All great sporting events are played against the backdrop of history. They punctuate the past and inspire the future so that athletes can dream. And so it Shara, was that... Shara, Shara, It's not the Masters, mate. What? Jeringong, not Augusta. Close. You lost, though. <laughs> Glad we came to Jeringong. <laughs> Ruan's uh, best trait or what she brings to the team is that she makes everyone she comes in contact with a better person, a better player. She's articulate, she's passionate, and I have no doubt she inspires so many young girls and women in the game. With the advent of the games being televised and uh, more exposure for women's rugby league, there's just uh, people on the street are starting to recognise us. If I can influence people positively, then yeah, my work here is done.